Welcome to Go Okanagan. With the current labor dispute taking place between the province and the teachers, parents are looking for something for their kids to do. Well, that's where the Kelowna Museum Society and the Kelowna Art Gallery come in with a day full of art and learning. And we're going to tag along and join in the fun. Well, now we've come inside the Okanagan Heritage Museum. We're talking to Jen Ferguson, who is talking dinosaurs to the kids. That's cool. That's right. It's uh, Kids all love dinosaurs. So when we have um, a group come in, especially a last minute group like what we have today, dinosaurs is always a popular thing to do. So you get to do this uh, a, a lot, right? Work with kids and, and, and share some of the incredible uh, facilities that you have here. Exactly, I do this every day. So at the Okanagan Heritage Museum, we look at the natural history and the social history of the Okanagan. So today, obviously, we're looking at natural history with the dinosaurs. We also do programs on First Nation studies, uh, col early Kelowna settlers, that type of thing. So, so, so if, I, I mean, this is, a, as you say, kind of a last minute thing for the kids that are kind of, you know, sort of looking for something to do today because of the, the, the labor dispute. But uh, now, if parents have kids or, or, or groups of kids that want to find out more or get involved in something like this, is this something they can contact the museum? Well, with school ending in, I think, just a couple of short weeks, we have lots of summer programming happening. So we have a drop-in Friday, um, every Friday for the whole summer, with different programs like the dinosaur program that's happening now. We will have a drop-in Friday, one on birds, one on owls, one on small animals. So if you just look at our website, kelownamuseums.ca, you'll see the schedule for all the summer programming. Okay, Hugo, come on up. Inside uh, McDougal's Trading Post, it said on the outside. So, you guys were telling me this is this is like this, a store from the old days, right? So, if you wanted to buy something, you wouldn't you wouldn't bring money, right? What would you bring? You would bring fur, and if you had no fur, you couldn't buy anything. Right. That'd be very different from the way it is today. If you went into a store with a beaver pelt and tried to buy something. Yeah, right? they would say nope. <laughs> Well, now we have come across the lawn, more or less, to the Kelowna Art Gallery. We're talking to Jolene Mackey, and you've got the kids working away on some art now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we're doing a little project right now that's sort of a response to the museum this morning, but bringing into the visual arts. So we've got drawing, and we've got some collaging and things like that happening as well. Okay, so yeah, we're going to check in with the kids, and, and they're going to explain what, uh, what the projects that they're working on. Uh, now, you guys kind of do this on a regular basis, right? Have uh, art programs for kids. Yeah, absolutely. So we always have it during spring and summer break. We've got different kids' art classes so that they can come for whole week-long sort of camps almost. Um, but then there's always things for teens, young adults, um, young kids as well. We've got throughout the, the entire year for them to take different kinds of art classes. All right, Madison, so tell me what your artwork of collecting and preserving is all about. It's like, it's the little ocean right here. Right. And the beach. Right. And there's like a little lollipop tree. A lollipop tree. And you've got a, a it looks like, a, is that a seahorse that can barely make it out there? Yeah, it's a, it's very camouflaged. Yes, it is. And it's very camouflaged. And a clownfish. A, a clownfish, nice. And there's, it must have been raining because you have a rainbow. Yep. So why are you collecting this person? Um, because, well, she's my mom, first oh, of all. Well, there you go. Yeah, there you want to keep your mom around. <laughs> and that's a nice penguin that you've drawn there. Yep. Thank you. So is there a, is there a theme to this? Does your mom and penguins go together somehow? Or you um, just, I'm just randomly drawing it. You just like them both. All right. Okay, so what have you got on your beach here to, to show that it's a beach? I have some dolphins. Right. Some sand and right. clams, and that's the sunset. Oh, okay. And that's the sky. The sky and the sunset. That's and just another calling for the jaw top. For the lid there. So we got sunset and sand and dolphins, and it's a beautiful beach. Good job. Well, the kids are still busily working away on their collection art. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Hard at work. So thank you so much uh, to, for letting us come down and check this out. This is a really cool opportunity for them to, to visit two uh, related kind of buildings like that and tie them together. Yeah, absolutely. It was actually really fun for me. I haven't been to the museum in a very long time, actually, and there's so much there and so much to learn. So they're always changing the exhibits there, too. So 
Yeah. Now, if, uh, if people want to find out more about how they can get their kids involved in art programs that are going on here at the gallery, or there's some family Sundays as well, right? Yes, that's right. Every Sunday we do a family activity. Uh, it runs from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock, and it's just drop in any time between then. $4 per person, um, and it's always something different, sometimes related to what we have on at the art gallery, sometimes it's related to the holidays, whatever it might be, but yeah, every Sunday. And then if you want to learn more, you can also you can drop in and ask us any questions you might have, or check out our website. And all kinds of great ways to get out there, get arts, and get involved. Thank you so much, Jolene. Thanks to all the staff and volunteers that uh, help put on this very short notice event to help out the kids and the parents who are sort of stranded by the strike. That's it for the show. I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you next time on Go.